Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome back to another Wargames Delivered video. Be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to get the paints, miniatures, and supplies used in this video, and also to refer a friend. You guys will both get a $15 discount, and with that, let's get into the video. For this video, I wanted to revisit our A Song of Ice and Fire tutorials with another Stark unit, this time the Car Stark Loyalists, which are a decent anti-infantry unit in the game that can heal every time they make an attack. Starting off, I'm using Pallid Bone here to paint his cloak, avoiding the tabard, his boots, and his gloves. Uh, this is still the 1.0 version of this speed paint, but I think these are still very useful, and if you can avoid the reactivation, they look great when they dry. Quick note on the classic speed paints, if you'd like to pick up some more of these, we have a huge clearance on them uh, over at wargamesdelivered.com, where if you use the code CLASSIC, uh, all capitals, in uh, our checkout, you will get uh, 10 free speed paints with any purchase of 10. Check out the link below in the description to pick these up, and be sure to use the code CLASSIC, all capitals, at checkout. I wanted to contrast the Karstark Spearmen that we painted a few weeks ago and uh, make these guys seem like they allied with the Boltons a little bit more, uh, because half of the Karstarks did that in the books and in the show too, I believe. Um, so we're going for a darker uh, theme in this tutorial. So there's lots of furs and leathers on these models, so uh, feel free to just interchange any of these colors if you feel that a uh, certain color fits in a certain place better. Um, but with that dry, we'll move on to the next step, which will be using Satchel Brown, and we'll use this to fill in the boots, the gloves, and his beard. Again, feel free to uh, change these colors around if you feel like uh, one color would fit better somewhere else. With that step done, we can move on to some lighter brown and beige tones here. Uh, starting out with bony matter, we're going to use this to paint the wraps on the flail and uh, the fur on his boots on the back here as well. And then with uh, fire drake here, we're going to use this to paint the little bit of trousers that are poking through. Uh, and then we also are going to cover up the belt and the scabbard for the dagger on his back with this color. The speed paints also mix very well together, so if you'd like to uh, kind of create your own colors for some of these areas, feel free to do that as well. Um, this is just kind of my method, uh, but you are absolutely welcome to modify and change it to uh, suit you better. Moving on from there, we can move to uh, painting the tabard, and on our Car Stark Spearmen, we used a light gray blue to show off their allegiance to the Starks, but with the Loyalists, I wanted to lean a bit more towards Car Stark colors, which are black and white, so we'll use grim black here. And I typically don't try to paint the uh, banner symbol on the rank and file guys like this, but on each of the commanders or captains, uh, I do kind of take the extra time and try to plot out that uh, insignia if it's not on the model already. And if you feel like any of these areas come out a little bit dull, um, feel free to add some highlights. Uh, these new speed paints really lend themselves well to highlighting up and also using a wash to darken them down. So either one you can use uh, with these new speed paints. And keep in mind with this step, we have uh, about half of the model painted at this point, so you'll want to try to be a little bit more careful around those areas we've already painted. Moving on, we only have a few more details to paint here, so we'll start with the face using warrior skin. And this will not really affect the satchel round that we used on his beard, so don't worry about being a little bit messy here, just try to avoid painting over the helmet with this skin tone. If you'd like to pick up all the paints used uh, for this mini in this video, the Speed Paint 2.0 Complete Set is available for pre-order on our website over at wargamesdelivered.com. The set contains all 89 new Speed Paint colors and a large bottle of Speed Paint Medium, uh, which I find very useful. Go ahead and pick up yours now, available May 27th. There will be a link in the description below. Before moving on to our Speed Paint Metallics, we will uh, go ahead and cover up the shield here with Aged Hide. Uh, this is a great option for leather, it's kind of a pinkish orange, and uh, it's also great for horse fur as well, which there is quite a bit of on uh, Song of Ice and Fire miniatures. Finally, all that's left on the mini is the metallic areas, and we'll be using Broadsword Silver here, again from the new speed paint line. Uh, look to paint the flail chain and the heads, uh, the chainmail, boots, and the bracers. Basically any area that is still white, you'll want to fill in with this color. 
We also have another awesome promo for all of the Army Painter paint lines, where if you buy six, you'll get three uh, free paints of your choice from any of the uh, current paint lines. Uh, feel free to check out the description below for more details there. And again, since most of the mini is already painted, go ahead and just take your time and work in this color very slowly so you don't make any mistakes. And there you have it, my speed paint guide for the Car Stark Loyalists. Really, you can use this on either Car Stark unit and it will still look great for a more renegade vassal house feel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more painting tutorials. And also be sure to check out the top link in the description for the giveaway attached to this video. Thanks again, guys, and happy wargaming.